Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, this feels like it's been so eagerly anticipated by myself only, probably. Um, the kids have been off on the school holidays, we've literally been out every day, and this might sound terrible. I've had the most amazing time, but I'm so glad they're back at school. Having three kids running around, crazy. The two boys fighting, my daughter thinking she's a teenager. Oh, they wanted to kill each other half the time. And yeah, it, it was really fun having them off. We had some lovely days at the beach, which is obviously only at the end of the road. And yeah, we had a, an amazing time. But you can tell by my persona, I am exhausted. Um, but I did go shopping throughout little bits. We had like a day in Colchester. So I popped into TK Maxx, who can say no? Um, and then there was the Sainsbury's home I went in there and got something from there. Um, and I've also been to the range of home bargains. Home bargains, I didn't really get homeware. It's like a couple of little bits. Um, but I'm going to share them with you anyway. So I will start off with the home bargains parts because they're the smallest ones. But before I do that, my mug of the day. Okay, okay. I'm doing it. Yeah, now this is just a little Cav Kitson mug. I don't know if this is called Ashford Print. It's one of my favourite mugs in like the whole world. And I've got a, a two, a very strong tea, a very hot tea. And you can kind of see it in the camera already. But I'm going to drink my tea when it's cooled down. Don't judge. But I'm on the Pepsi Max. And the reason I'm on the Pepsi Max is I've started Slimming World. Um, yeah. I like being a curvy girl. I'm never gonna deprive myself of food. But if I'm having a nice big Chinese on a Saturday and a nice big Indian on a Sunday and I'm going out for a meal on a Friday, I probably don't need a whole packet of angel slices of a mug of tea every single evening. Because my husband will sort of come home later from work and he'll go, shall I bring in some? And we've been having a chocolate packet of hobnob share between us and half a packet of the eight packets angel slices. I'm definitely not someone like with a healthy lifestyle <laughs> you want to look up to. Um, but yeah, so I'm drinking Pepsi. I've got to take a sip because I'm absolutely gasping. That was like the tiniest sip right now. Drinking. Um, yeah, so I'll have my tea in a minute. So this is my little Cav Kitson mug. Cav Kitson, I love. I love collecting it. But I love going on in the sale and getting like a mug for like £5 and things like that going down with juice. I'm quite... You know, like that. Well, first off, with my home bargain stall, I did get plasters. I'm not going to talk about these very long. My son basically scraped his knee this morning, and I had to run in there and get plasters. But for mums, them ones, a pack of 20 cushion plasters, 79p. That's so cheap. And the sensitive plaster. If your kids have got such sensitive skin, those sensitive plasters, apparently the stickies sensitive, 16 for 49p. Moving on. I got two packs of the apple floor wipes. They're two for a pound. You get 15 wipes in a packet. I love these, I've said this before, they're so easy just to quickly, when you're doing a run around clean. Amazing, keep packing the car. Amazing, but this is what I, I, I did enjoy in um, and bargains. They've got Zoella in there at the moment, and they have this, and it says wonderful. Sorry, because I'm reading it backwards on the front. Basically, this was $12.99 retail price in Soup Drug, and I got it for $2.99. I'm going to open it. I just thought, how pretty. It's like a soft, not leather, but it feels kind of leathery, that squishy sort of feel. And it's all embossed or debossed. Little, some spotty pages. But all of it's like, just lined notepad with little Zs at the bottom. And basically, I just thought, if I want to be the new JK Rowling and write out a little novel... <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to be like, I don't know, sometimes I just sit there and write loads of crap like what I want to do and, you know, like budget lists, like I'm going to do a little little upcycle of like my little summer house down the end, so it'll be like, I'm going to set myself like a £50 budget and I've got to get some chairs on the table with that and I'll write that down, I'll make a log of what paint I already have and supplies to sort of do it, and that's going to be that kind of book, Two ninety nine. it's quite large. And it is very thick. So, to be fair, it was kind of cheaper than some of the ones in there that were home bargains. So, that's Zoella as well. So, that's really good value. So, I got that. Now, as I was just talking about the Slimming World, because uh, 
that's the thing. I'm just feeling uncomfortable in this heat. The heat has proven to me that I need to just lose maybe five pounds. <laughs> There's probably some people watching, like, <laughs> you probably need to lose more than I love. No, I like my size. I actually, people might find that fascinating. I like my size. I like being a size 16. I like having curves. I like having a bit of a belly, because my kids love it, my husband does. But I just don't want that, that tiny bit on the bottom. I just don't want that when I go like that, you know, like, because it's just quite... No, if you go like that, that's fine. But when you're like that and you've still got the the little guitar, blah, 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 that's what I want to kind of get rid of. So I think about five pounds will do that, and then I'm back to sexy girl. Now then, um, but I got this, and in there it was one ninety nine. It's a twelve week food diary. They had them in grey with a silver writing, and it said if you have that snack, no, if you want to snack it, track it. And this says if you bite it, write it. But I've got this because it's gold and pink. It goes with the other ones, so it looks kind of cool together. And basically, it's like weekly weight tracker. So you have like what your start weight is if you've gone up or you've gone down, what you are this week since the start. And then you have literally seven days of basically these food diaries. Now, this isn't a Slimming World one, but it does say A and B. So I'm thinking that's your healthy A and your healthy B. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, treats. And you are allowed 15 sins as well. So that's quite funny that they've got 15 treats. So I think that is possibly kind of a Slimming World one. And then making sure that you're drinking two litres of water. Um, and also, I did notice in here, because I had a quick browse through in there, there's just like motivations, challenges. There's like a little exercise log. If I find the exercise log, I guarantee I won't. This is going to be such a long-winded video, but I just haven't spoken on here in ages, and I'm just sort of thinking, oh. you know, it's just like, I want it to last longer than 12 minutes. Oh, shopping list, fruit, veg, dairy, eggs. And right at the back, there's a couple of pages for recipes to remember, because I know sometimes when you go to group, I very rarely stay, um, because I'm not there to be told how to make a tiny little breakfast bar last for five days. I will eat five of them in one day. And that's terrible, and I probably shouldn't be at their club if I'm not gonna follow the rules. I just like to follow it for the Monday to Friday. Saturday, if I'm going out for the day, I would like to have a nice breakfast, maybe stick with the bacon and the eggs, but not have bread or anything like that. Sort of try and do a healthy-ish breakfast. And then, like, if I am going out, there's nothing stopping me getting a steak and a jacket potato instead of chips. And But I still want a takeaway at the weekend. I like having a takeaway at the weekend. It's like a little treat when you're a mum. Like, and you ain't going out all the time. It's nice to just sit down. Now the new thing is Love Island. <laughs> but, like, on Netflix, put something on and have a little takeaway. I've done it last night. It's a little bit annoying because it's Monday night. But technically, my kids didn't go back to school till today. So, yeah, I had an Indian. Right, now I'm off the home bargains haul. Now it's the homeware stuff, probably what you're actually waiting for. When I went into TK Maxx, they had a little tiny clearance area and I managed to get this lovely little, like, I think it's called, is it not yucca? I don't know what they're called. But it's like a little, like, they're like little peas and it's in like a little tiny cray pot. Clay, is that clay? Stone, it's like an earthenware grey pot. And it's like got the fake mud and stuff. And it's really nice. I don't think it will look very... Like it's... I don't feel like the pot's big enough for it. So I've got a little basket that I had at Sainsbury's home years ago. And it used to be white at the bottom, but it painted like grey. I'm going to stick it in that. And I'm going to have that in my little toilet. Like just to give it a little bit of colour. I think like... Oh, I don't know. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. So... Yeah, that was three ninety nine. Yeah, that was three ninety nine. You get the little red stickers, and I get confused because I get a bit excited in TK Maxx. I end up getting my little red basket. Not one, two. I get two red baskets, and I'm like dragging them along, like out of my way, putting things in it. And the reason I had to get two was because I see this amazing picnic camper. How cute is that? Now this was fourteen ninety nine. I did go up to the till and say. Is this in the sale? Because all of their picnic wear, melamine plates, hampers, have all gone down in the sale, but this one hadn't. She was like, no, it would have a red sticker. And I was like, but can you just check it? Because it might be missed. And she was like, I don't really think that's gonna happen. But I thought, if I don't ask and I leave, 
I just know someone's going to be on like Instagram or something saying that they've got their picnic basket for like three quid and I've paid 14 99 and I get a little bit envious <laughs> about good bargains. So yeah, I got this for 14 99 it wasn't in the sale. Um, and it's got the two little parts to open. It's really spacious, it's quite big. But I'm actually probably being a criminal with this. I'm taking the fabric off of it um, because I'm having it in my kitchen. And the reason I'm having it in my kitchen is I can't find tea, sugar and coffee pots that I like anymore. Um, and I just I just don't can't find them that I really want that matches sort of the thing that I want. <laughs> so I'm having this on my kitchen side and I'm literally going to have little storage pots inside of my little sachets of coffee, my little pot of tea. My nan always drinks lemon tea when she's around here. Gary has about 30 different types of coffee he'll drink. My granddad will only drink the three in one sachet. So it's big enough to just stick all of my tea, sugar and coffee in and it looks quite cute on the side. So I got that for 14 99 in TK Maxx. Inside the basket is two other finds that I got. Now I got these and I sort of wish there was more there because I would have bought more. But how cute are these little bowls with the little balls on them? How posh do they look? And they're like, you got a bowl cereal, like really? Um, I don't know how much they were to start with. Let me try and get a sticker off to see how much they were. Probably not that dear. Doesn't say, but they're two pound 20 now. Two pound 20, can you see that? I'll show it on the other bowl. Two pound 20, and they only had two. I'm lying, they had three. I didn't want to get an odd number. Is that weird? Yeah, two pound, two pound twenty, and I've got two of those. And I just thought, like, then you got your friends over or something, or even if you're having an Indian takeaway, you can put like the Bombay potatoes in that one, Sagbaji in that one, or oh, chicken balls, spring rolls. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even talking about that. I'm getting myself hungry, and really I should be on a diet, so I shouldn't have really got those. Um. Why is that on the table? Oh, I know why that's on the table. Oh yeah, like I didn't know, but like, I do know. No, I'm joking, I actually forgot. Um, a little tip for the ladies that like to clean. I know this is meant to be a haul and I'm just rambling on about random crap, but like I said, I'm a bit overexcited because I've not been on here for a week. Um, I crushed loads of bronzing powder into my carpet and my child walked over it and it was in my carpet like grey and I thought, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't know how to even begin to get that off. And then I tried to scrub it out. It made it worse. It was just all over the floor. It's like literally just spread in. I thought the next day I'm gonna go and get some vanish. Well, later on that evening, I sat there wiping my makeup off in front of the mirror using my micellar water from Home Bargains. Water, not oil, because I don't think the oil would work. It'd be bad. And I thought, if this gets makeup off my face, and it's water, kind of, this might get makeup off my carpet. What a dream. That's why it's so empty, I only bought it because I did actually use about that much. I literally just went onto the carpet and got it off of a cloth. This got makeup 100% out of my carpet. Now I know that you can use vanity. This is like £1.90, I believe. This is amazing to get it out. Like it came out, there weren't one trace of makeup and it weren't spreading it, it just sort of sucked it into the sponge. Amazing. So I brought that down. It's not part of the haul, but I thought I'm going to share that because, you know, that's a pretty good tip. But I'm hoping that everybody loves. This is a new man in my life and I got him from Sainsbury's home. And his name's Herbert. Little Herbert the hamster. <laughs> in the tea where's the vodka in the background no this is a lovely little he's really heavy and he's like stone little hedgehog and he's got the little spikes now this is to put out in my porch you know when you get little like dusty muddy shoes and you've got to get it off i'm not going to let no one do that to herbert by the way he's purely for show <laughs> but how cute is he not a hamster a hedgehog a hedgehog yeah, and he'd gone down from £18 to £13.50. Now, my husband was like, £13.50 for a clay hedgehog. Are you serious? And I was like, 
We don't actually have pets because he's allergic to pet hair. I was like, listen, this is the alternative. This is what we've got. This is what we're going to have. So, and I just thought, he's so adorable. He's really heavy. Like, be careful because he, he has become quite a novelty with the kids. I'm like, put it down because you drop it on your toes. So he was £13.50. Um, and the last part of my homeware haul, I feel like I haven't really got a lot of stuff, actually, now I'm doing it. Maybe because I do a lot of stuff that I do for probably too much, what I shouldn't do. It's a big one, so I'm going to stand up. It's all right, I've not got my like dress tucked into my shorts again. But I've got one out in my hallway, and I had to get another one when I sit in the range again. It's this massive wooden ornate panel. Now, this, I've got one out in my hallway. These are $12.99. Now, I know that they do them on certain websites like Danish or Shabby Chic websites, and they're like, not that they're not, that's not because they're not, but I'm saying it's because they're expensive and this isn't. Um, <laughs> I'm not questioning if they're vintage, they, they probably are. Um, but this is wooden, it's got the little hooks on it to hang it up. This is $12.99, and they have them on their websites in the white or the grey for like 65 to 100. The 100 are the larger ones, but this size are like 65 pounds. Now for 12.99 from the range, you can have the same look. And I just think they are so nice. I mean, even on like a little like table with candles on it and stuff, like that would just look so cute. You could even put a little like wooden legs on this to have this as a tabletop. I don't know, I just, I just love it. Or you could have, Put them on the frame, like screw them onto a wooden frame to make like a lovely like screen. A screen, what's them folding things? A screen. I'm gonna just have it on the wall and I'm gonna keep it in the white. Um, but I just loved it and I just thought, how cheap is that? Twelve ninety nine for something that pretty. Obviously, the theme of all my stuff is like white and cream today. Oh god. Oh no, I nearly pushed her, but the house are off the table. <laughs> Let me put that down. Yeah. No, I'm so excited to obviously be back again today. I literally had my hair tied up on top of my head and like had nothing but my eyebrows on. So I was like, for you guys, I'm going to put this on. Not that it's great, but you know, I showed you my video. So I don't see me see my teeth going off. Yeah, that's the stuff. No, I want to say thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe. But honestly, the people that have been saying the most amazing comments, like saying like, amazing haul, your amazing character, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's so nice. Like, it really does mean actually a lot. Like, I was going through them with my husband the other day, and I was like, this person's took the time out of their day to say that to me, and it's just... The, the nicest thing, genuinely the nicest, nicest thing. Oh, and who done it? Genuine. Is anyone so excited to know that Gavin and Stacey are doing a Christmas episode? Um, yeah, Christmas Day, obviously. I was trying to find out what the date was. It's the 25th of December. Yeah, or it might be Boxing Day. I don't know when it is, but it's the Christmas episode. Gavin and Stacey. I know what they feel there. I'm feeling really excited for that. Is that Welsh? Uh, oh, Bryn, I ain't touched that shit in 10 years. I just swore, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gavin and Stacey makes me excited. Yeah, no, I'm so excited for that. Um, but back on to everyone that's been sort of following and, you know, my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. It really means a lot. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying these videos. And I've had a lot of comments on the video of my Primark haul me trying on clothes. If you like that sort of thing and the clothes and stuff, you'll be excited because I've got a haul coming up next week of more clothes and things like that. Um, and I will attempt to do another try on. <laughs> Obviously, you think it works. I was like, this is a foul. Like, what am I doing? Um, and I won't have Oasis playing so loud in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, on th that one. So that's next week. Um, keep it a surprise for what it is, what kind of shop it is. Um, that it's a cheaper shop. And I've noticed there's a lot of them on there. And I'm going to be trying on the plus size range. Um, you probably guessed what it is. But you have to keep your eyes open for it. And perhaps subscribe if you're not subscribed to keep ahead with all my videos if you obviously like this and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it as well and uh yeah i'm rosie henshaw sorry for this mad chaotic video but i'm back again just hurts <laughs> take off like a little little chubby turkey what's that about
Yeah. So um, thank you very much, and I'm off now. I've got rid of the hyperness. Now I'm back. Thank you so much. Bye.